in modern relationships, there is always this argument of what a woman should bring to the table. And oftentimes, these arguments are always in the lines of material things. You hear things like, oh, she should be able to foot the bills of the house 50%. When we go out on a date, you should be able to pay something at least. And people, most of the time, tend to forget the most important things that a woman ought to bring to the table in a relationship. Therefore, in this video, let's look at some of those things that a woman has to, in fact, needs to bring to the table in a committed relationship. Number one, respect. This is something that is so fundamental to the success of every committed relationship. And this goes beyond just being polite. You see, there is something about respect that I have come to realize. We women tend to respect values. And anything we cannot place value on, we will not be able to respect. So the question here is, does she value you? Does she value your time, your passion, and the effort you put into the relationship? While some people argue so strongly that a woman should be able to foot 50% of the bills of the house when you are in a committed relationship, I would like to say here that the moment a woman begins to pay part of the bills in the house, she begins to value you less. And the moment she begins to value you less, my brother, she would respect you less. Maybe this is because originally we were not created to give material things or money to a man. But this does not take away the fact that there are so many other important things that a woman needs to provide, bring to the table in a committed relationship. And that is why I'm talking about respect. Respect, for example, is not material. It's not something you can see with your eyes and say, okay, I need this color of respect. Uh, today, give me red color of respect or give me yellow. No. Respect has to come from the inside. How does she see you? Does she value you? If she values you, then she will be able to respect you. If a woman does not respect you fully in a relationship, it's going to affect a lot of things. From the way she's going to speak about you, to the way she's going to introduce you to people, to the way she would even love you. Respect is very, very important. Does she bring respect to your table? Look around, brother. That brings me to number two, emotional support. Now, when it comes to emotional support, in fact, it shouldn't be a thing of question. A woman shouldn't be reminded to provide emotional support in a relationship because originally, naturally, we were created, wired to be able to provide emotional support. It's our thing. So if she's not giving you emotional support, like being there for you, being a shoulder you can rely on sometimes, because every day not be Christmas, then that is a walking red flag right there. This is something that we women do effortlessly. You know how we have this natural ability to nurture? This is something that even she close her eyes, says she feel give you emotional support. When she opens her mouth in the morning and she's speaking to you, it should be emotional support. She should be able to stand by you be there for you be someone you can speak to when you can't speak to any other person out there she should be your emotional support let me give you an example let's say you're just lounging one afternoon maybe seeing a movie or maybe you're not seeing a movie you're just lounging just sitting in the couch and just trying to have a conversation and then she's just on her phone She's not even paying attention to you. And maybe you're trying to say something that is so important to you. She's not paying attention. She doesn't know what you're saying. You say one thing and she, the next minute she's asking you, eh, 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 what do you talk? What are you saying? She's not following. And it's not like it's something that has just happened once or twice or even three times. This is something that happens all the time. She doesn't even take note of you. She doesn't realize it when you have a frown on your face. When you're looking gloomy, when you're looking sad, when you're looking depressed, she doesn't even notice. This is not because she lacks the ability to provide emotional support. It's because she's not just there present with you. So you have to look at these things. I know some people will say, eh, you know, my babe now, nah, she just be this type of say She know the two send things. Maybe say she know they hear me or she they hear me just that she need to like take things personal. No. If you are in a committed relationship, then your woman needs to provide you with emotional support. It doesn't mean that she becomes your shrimp or your therapist overnight. No, but then 
she should be your number one call that person you can always call because like i said every day no be christmas moving on to number three you should be able to know where you stand in a relationship this is one thing that is also very important and i have seen a lot of the times where people overlook this singular thing only to be sad embarrassed and stranded in the future Okay, the tools, baby, tell us, say, girl, I like you. I want to build a future with you. Let's just start dating and see how these things goes. And, you know, if it progresses positively, we can even go ahead and tie the knot. You tell her all of these things and she's not saying anything. My brother, silence is not always consent. I don't talk anything. No means say, I say yes. Know where you stand in a relationship with a woman. Make you not be say you be free pass. Or maybe you're just an option that she can always come back to when the other main guy is doing as if he's shaking, he's doing like this, he's doing like this. Because this is a sad truth. Nowadays, not the only guys that we keep side chico, even girls too, they get side guys. <laughs> this sounds funny, but not true. See, my babe no say anything. She just keep quiet. They feel me. It doesn't mean that she has agreed with you. Right? Let her tell you yes. Or no, know where you stand in the relationship. Don't waste your time. Honestly, most women don't really have a problem committing to a relationship. As a matter of fact, this is something we grow up looking forward to. Like, you know that time you're a child and sometimes you fantasize that hey, when you now grow up, you now get married, you now have a baby. We're just so family-oriented. Like, we like the idea of family. That is how most women are. So she shouldn't have a problem committing to a relationship with you. Except, of course, she has doubts, she's afraid, she doesn't trust you, or maybe you're the side guy. Number four, no secrets. I don't care what her reasons are, you shouldn't be a secret. If she is holding back from showing you off to her family members, her friends, especially her friends, maybe her family, you get to meet them later on, but especially her friends. If she is reluctant to introduce you, then something is going on there. Is that she's embarrassed by you or there is someone else they already know and met? Think about your last three dates. Where did you hang out? What parts of the city did you go to? Did you go to the area where she resides and where she can bump into the people she knows? Just think about it. And there you have your answer. If you have dated her for a while and she's still dodgy about introducing you to the people in her circle, then it calls for concern. Because when a woman is in love and excited about you, she doesn't naturally hold back. She doesn't have the ability to hold back. She's going to tell whoever cares to listen, this is my guy. Now this guy, they're on board now, you know? She not go hide you. You shouldn't be a secret. You shouldn't. And that brings me to number five, romance. Romance in every relationship is important. When I say romance, I don't mean going ahead to have premarital sex and whatnot. I mean, does she intentionally plan dates with you? Does she remember your birthday? Or is it that you have to remind her all the time that, ah, babe, today is my birthday now, you don't even post me. Do you have to beg for her to post you and to celebrate you? This is the romance I'm talking about. Like I said, a woman that is crazy in love with you and values you and respects you and actually sees you will post you even when it's not your birthday. <laughs> you never see some women start to say, say sometimes you could just see things like, ah, my heart throb. <laughs> or they'll just put up a status and say things like, hmm, my ride or die. That's not romance now. What do you think it is? Because she values you, because she loves you, because she respects you. Having standards in a relationship is not just about what you want, but what you deserve. Relationship is about give and take. And while compromise is a key, there are things that should never be compromised. You see these five things that I outlined to you right now. These are things that you should never compromise. Going into a committed relationship like marriage with a woman that does not have respect for you, that does not provide emotional support for you and all of the things I said in this video is like, it's too risky. Life in itself is risky. I agree, we take risk every day. But then there are risks we shouldn't take that are not worth it. If you're new here, my name is Wendy Zil. Thank you so much for stopping by. <laughs> if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. 
Do you agree with this point? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments. And if you've ever wondered what women truly want from men, then you can check out this video where I talked about what a woman truly wants from a man. I'll see you there.